Welcome to Velma episode 5. Voice crack in the first second. <laughs> Let's get into it. We open to find out Velma's stepmother is going to hospital for her baby and will be out of the hospital for a few days with Velma's dad. You know, the one that said he would ride Fred's 15 year old dick to victory. Anyways, remember kids, it's not creepy if it's animated. We head to school where the principal is making an announcement basically saying all the cops assigned to protect the sexy girls were sexually harassed out of the school by the girls. Thanks. This is, this is, this, this is accurate, actually. Let's just say there's the same sexual harassment issue with women on men at my school. Because of this, the police are now implementing a 9pm curfew so that the police can patrol the streets and keep the kids safe. Meanwhile, Daphne has snuck out of the house to go into the crystal mines and investigate her origin. After ripping through a sign, she gets immediately grabbed. By who? Dun dun da, I don't know. Also, Fred has now taken Fake Shaggy's place as simp for Velma, wearing a feminist shirt. He also has some sort of information on Velma's mother. The previous owners of his house, he now lives in, was named Edna Perdue, and the house was an insane asylum. <gasps> insane asylum on the card, insane asylum here. Oh my god, am I seeing a connection? I think it's Shaggy's grandma. Bitch. Let's see. The writers seem to be taking a dig at male feminists throughout this whole episode, and I just have to ask, if you want people to sympathise with your case, why? What are you doing? Insulting the people who support you is stupid, and you've done it multiple times in this show so far. Velma walks into the computer room to find fake Shaggy making out with Gigi, the person who everyone thought would be Scooby, who was not Scooby. Please stop spreading lies, you dumbass. Anyway, don't worry, Scooby is mentioned in the next episode for a one-line joke. Anyway, we also find out that Shaggy has been banned from hanging out with Velma too much by Gigi. We cut to Daphne asking why her parents are wearing furry suits, because yeah, the people that kidnapped her into the cave were her parents. This is literally the most ironic shit I've seen so far, because they are literally wearing the skin of better characters, just like everyone in this fucking series. We move on to Velma visiting the History Museum. It turns out her mother already got all the documents pertaining to this Edna person, and had taken them with her when she disappeared. Oh, and Velma has a heart attack, and this time actually needs a defibrillator to bring her back to health. Velma sees this as proof Fred isn't enough to help her, and now really desperately wants Shaggy back. Again, if this is the character Mindy Kaling thought young Indians would relate to, she was highly fucking mistaken. It's called evolution, people. Zoinks and jinkies! Patrick motherfucking McDonald. So Velma decides to throw a nerd party to come in contact with Shaggy once again. By the way, there's a whole C-plot about Fred trying to get pizza to stop the nerdy kids from eating each other at Velma's house, but like, it's boring and literally adds nothing to his character, so I'm going to ignore it. We cut to plot B, where Daphne is googling her parents, finally finding out all she needs to know about them, like how they were a crime gang, and that they existed. Nice! We return to A plot, where Velma starts a fucking flute fight for sh fake Shaggy's attention. This is depressing. Seriously. Turns out they both suck, but Gigi wins anyway. No help for Velma. Velma goes into the bathrooms with Gigi and asks her to please share fake Shaggy. Gigi replies with no, with extra steps, accidentally letting slide that fake Shaggy has family issues. What? Velma tricks Gigi into saying what they are and it turns out shock horror the mad scientist is fake Shaggy's grandma. This episode ends with Velma getting hit by a police car intentionally because she was out past the curfew trying to get some fucking pizza for the nerd kids in plot C. Oh, and Daphne goes like underground and shit and her parents take off their heads to fully become the shitty characters they are. See you in episode 6, it's being made like a few hours after this. I'm editing these back to back.